The needs of the customers in a haunted experience like this are to be frightened. Still only July, but the folks who put on those haunted houses during the fall are already preparing for their special time of year. And one such place is going the extra mile to make sure you get the living daylight scared out of you. New specialist Keith McCord is at the Fear Factory in Salt Lake. Keith, that building's been around for a long time. Yeah, Dave, it's the site of the old Portland cement factory. It was built back in the 1800s, so it's a perfect place for a haunted house. And this year, the operators have brought in a professional stage mentalist to teach the cast members how to size us up to determine what scares us. A haunted house is only as good as the actors working inside. All those people who dress up and use elaborate makeup to scare us to death. But there's more to it than that. Enter Paul Draper. Yep, he can do things like this. Draper calls himself a mentalist anthropologist. He does stage and TV shows and also works with large company CEOs. I teach people how to have a super memory, how to tell when people are lying, and how to read people's body language. And that fits perfectly at a haunted house like the Fear Factory. This week, Draper held a workshop with the actors to teach them to focus on the individual customer, to look for the little things and then capitalize on it. So there's a wide range of fears that people have. What I want to work with the actors to do is help them pinpoint what individuals fear so that they can continue to experience that and energize that throughout the haunt. Draper says there are core fears that humans have had forever. We're afraid of loud noises, of monsters, of things that are going to eat us, things that are going to attack us, sounds that are coming from nowhere. Actor Scott Maddox says just listening to a group of people as they work their way through the dozens of rooms here can help create a big surprise. We have our own areas and, and zones that we're in, uh, but we can keep an eye on them, we can track them. Uh, sometimes we can sort of run through the back secret corridors and whisper into someone's ear like, that one in the purple sweater's named Elsie. She hates spiders. <laughs> in a way, those of us who visit these haunted houses actually give ourselves away. Our voices and body language send loud messages to the actors. They're actually looking at each customer individually and looking at, you know, interpreting each interaction with them. What, what would be the best way to scare that person? By the way, the Fear Factory will open in September on Friday the 13th, if hey, it makes sense. And they're still looking for more art, uh, actors, Dave. They use about 150 a night, so if you really like scaring people, <laughs> they'll audition you. Keith, what do you think their research would say about what scares you? What scares me, I don't like loud noises. They, they, you know, jarring sounds, I jump right out of my shoes all the time. <laughs> all right, we'll make a note of that. Keith McCord reporting yeah, live. Thank don't you, Don't slam Keith. a door, yeah. <laughs>